we have 790.4 divided by 19. So we can use our usual method of long division, but because we have a decimal point in our dividend, we need to copy up that decimal point into our answer. Now that we've done that, we can basically ignore the decimal points and answer the question in exactly the same way as if we had 7904 divided by 19. So we need our 19 times table, and we can start by dividing 79 by 19. We can see that 4 times 19 is 76, so we can write 76 below the 79 and write a 4 in our answer. Now 79 minus 76 is 3, and we can bring down the 0 so that we have 30 divided by 19. So now we can write 19 under the 30, and that's 1 times 19. Now 30 minus 19 is 11, and we can bring down the last digit, bring down the 4. 114 divided by 19 is exactly 6, so we can write 6 in our answer, and we have nothing left to divide. So because we've already written the decimal point in our answer, we know that 790.4 divided by 19 is 41.6. So now pause the video and see if you can use the same method to divide 140.8 by 32. So that we don't forget, it's a good idea to copy up the decimal point into our answer straight away. Now, if we have our 32 times table, we can use long division in exactly the same way as if we were dividing a whole number. If we take the first two digits, we have 14, which is less than 32. So let's take the first three digits all in one go and work out 140 divided by 32. We can see that 4 times 32 is 128. So let's write 128 under the 140 and 4 in our answer. 140 minus 128 is 12, and we can bring down the 8, so we have 128 divided by 32. That's exactly 4, and we have nothing left to divide, so we have our answer.